A bit more for you here on your election command center. A member of parliament for the Damango constituency and lands and natural resources minister, Samuel Abu Jinapo, has hit hard at former President Mahama and the NDC for engaging in what he says is tribal politics, addressing a charged crowd of NPP supporters at Claw in the Salaga South constituency of the Savannah region. The Damango lawmaker insisted that the times of tribal politics are long over and that politicians from Gonjalan should stop engaging in tribal politics. Let's go to Christopher Marco right now, who's been following the development there because of what the backstory is. He himself was in trouble. Uh, it's the, the Damango MP in relation to uh, certain perceived actions uh, the overlord of the Gonja traditional area. Chris has joined us. Chris, uh, help us understand the make and feel of the Salaga constituency to start off with and uh, what is expected to be a keen battle between the NPP and the NDC. Yes, so uh, Mawena, you remember that before the 2020 uh, election in the Savannah region, the Salaga South constituency was the only constituency with an MPP uh, parliamentarian. And so, uh, unfortunately, in 2020, the MPP lost the Salaga South constituency seat, even though it won uh, three seats in that election. So this place has become a battleground for both the MPP and the NDC. You remember that two weeks ago, the NDC flag bearer, John Dramani Mahama, was in the Savannah region and visited the Salaga South constituency. He equally visited Claw, uh, a deprived uh, uh, area in the Salaga South constituency and indicated uh, that the people should vote for him, uh, first of all, as a brother, a gonja, and when he comes, he will develop the area. This uh, did not sit well with the uh, Damango lawmaker who also taught the Salaga South constituency. And he is saying that, look, look politics is beyond Brotherhood. Politics is beyond the fact that uh, I am a Gonja, you are a Gonja. Politics is about development. And the uh, parliamentary candidate for the MPP in the Salaga South constituency, Adam Brahma Salifu, is the only person who can uh, 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 complement the development policies and programs of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia if elected into to, uh, office. Let's take a listen to what uh, uh, Abu Jinapo has been telling the people of Klo. And so, Chris, what's it looking like uh, with some 39 days to, to the elections in, in that part of, of the country? Yes, so, uh, Marina, if you look at the uh, Savannah region as it stands now, uh, the NDC has four out of the seven seats. Uh, but this time around, the MPP is saying that, look, in 2020, we had only one seat, but we're able to win uh, two other seats, making it three out of the seven. And this is the home region of former uh, president and NDC flag bearer. And so they are putting in more efforts to ensure that, that they win more seats, and they are capitalizing on the fact that the MPP has developed the Savannah region and even created the Savannah region. And so uh, this is an opportunity for the people of the region to repay the MPP with their votes so that they can continue with their development interventions. The NBC is also saying that, look, 
uh, this uh, region, even though we did not create it, but if you want to compare the records of John Dramani Mahama mm. in terms of development to that of NPP under Akufuado, we have done massive well and so we deserve the votes of uh, the people so every political party especially MPP and DC have intensified their campaigns but this time around they are not doing platform or rallies uh, across uh, the constituencies they move from one electoral area to the other trying to convince the people to amass more votes Chris, as always, I appreciate those details there. That's my colleague, Christopher Marco, uh, following the Salaga South constituency and the development there for us. This is your election command center. A bit more politics for you this hour.